What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Monday Mayhem. You got two of the core four here today, Brandon and Rodney, are on an intimate date, doing something. Hide the the bacon or something like that. I don't Butt remember. Stuff. Yeah. So it's just me and Tyler. Um, but yeah, you ready to get right into some Monday Mayhem? Yeah, let's do it. No what screaming are we doing? this episode at yeah. all. Yeah. Um, no, I ain't even gonna do it. <laughs> Uh, so let's start with some, some dog talk. I know okay. you're a big dog I lover. love dogs. That's why you love John Wick. You see a dog that, murder. Yeah. You see the revenge story of a dog. Yeah, um, I don't like the murdering part of the dog, but yes, I do re- <laughs> enjoy the revenge. Uh, Same with Turner and Hooch. Have you seen Turner and not. Hooch? The dog dies not. at the end of that, too, and it's just like... <laughs> we got to review Marley and Me here no, soon. <laughs> I'm not doing Marley and Me or Turner and Hooch. <laughs> Um, but yeah, let's go dogs. What are your top five favorite dog breeds? Okay, top five favorite dogs. You want to go like five, five, four, four? Yeah, I, but I got an honorable mention, and it's a golden retriever. I just feel like I have to add that in so I don't get hated on. See, I, I love golden retrievers, too. I feel like they're very popular. Yeah. Almost, uh, I don't want to say basic dog, but okay. Yeah, go yeah ahead. I get it. Number five uh, for me would be Great Danes. Great Danes, fucking massive Dude, dog. We used to have two as a kid, and they were... Horses? Yeah. Did you ever ride them? As, yeah, how, we how tried. Old were you? Uh, I was probably five or six. Oh, yeah. So you were perfect riding age. Yeah, and the neighborhood girl was terrified of them, and she came <laughs> over one day and I let them out, and they were they were friendly. I was gonna know? say they're probably nice. Scared dogs. her to death. <laughs> got in she trouble. She just comes up to her kneecap. Yeah, I got in trouble for that. Uh, so your fifth dog's a pretty big dog. It's so is mine. One of the biggest. Uh, who'd win in a fight, a Great Dane or a Cane Corso? Dude, I don't even know. <laughs> is that a dog? That, you or? haven't seen a cane corso? No. It's essentially a Great Dane and a pit bull type. It's like a. What? I'll show you a fucking picture. Yeah. They're a massive dog. Sounds like a transformer. I can't believe you've never heard of a cane corso. I'm sorry. No, God I've damn never. It. You're a dog person. I know, but that don't mean I'm like an expert on all the breeds. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they're just like massive. They're beautiful yeah, they dogs. Are. Holy crap, dude. Yeah, I think you'd fuck a That kind of looks like a boxer, but I obviously, I guess, well, yeah, that's a big dog. They're huge. Yeah. So that's that's, that's my fifth favorite dog. Uh, four, I'm going to go pit bulls. Stop hating on the pit bulls. They're yeah, sweet. They're, they're not aggressive dogs. Yeah, they're not. I, I have a friend whose mom has pit bulls, and they're the, some of the sweetest dogs you'll ever meet. Pitbulls is number four for me. Uh, Number four for me is going to be a boxer. Dude, yeah. I fucking love boxers. They were my favorite dog for the longest time. Don't yep. really know why it changed, but it, it shouldn't did. have changed. I, I still love them. I know you got, what, two boxers? I got three. Three, three boxers, yeah. Uh, I love boxers. Uh, My number three is uh, Huskies. Super the only bad dogs. thing about Huskies is, you know, how much they shed. That's it. Huskies also, are fun dogs. Aren't Huskies, like, super uh, energetic? Like, yeah. you got to run them a lot? Or, oh, yeah, they or let, run. not run them, but let them get their exercise. Or yeah. they're going to tear shit up. You need a fence or something because Huskies like to run. They like the cold, which is weird how they're just getting, like, ice baths, and they just love it. <laughs> so three is a Husky for me. Uh, coming in at number three for me, it's going to be a golden doodle. Yeah. Uh, my girlfriend has a golden doodle and it's probably the best dog I've ever I've seen met it. in my life. It's super cute. Um, she yeah. actually just got it, uh, groomed because it had, ended up having mats in its fur. Mm-hmm. So they had to like shave it almost like bald. So it was, it looked Did it the, look funny. Yeah. Like the poodle was really coming out and it's not as cute when, uh, it's that, shaved. I don't, I don't like fucking poodles, but. The golden golden doodles are adorable. That comes in at number three for me. Uh, number two, I'm gonna go German Shepherd. Guess what? Number two for me is German Shepherd. Really? I love German. Sh- the yeah. big German Shepherds. My cousin had Dude. a German Shepherd, and it was small. And that's what I thought German Shepherds were growing up. It was probably forty pounds. Yeah, like it, there was like small. something wrong with it. And then like <laughs> I saw like a real. Uh, German no, Shepherd, and one? they're what, like 60, 70 pounds? Like, they can get least, pretty yeah. big. Yeah. So I thought they were small dogs, like, growing up as a kid. But, yeah, German Shepherds are number two for me as well. 
Yeah, number one. I think I know. Boom, boxers, Boxy, baby. Yep. Man, we, I have three. My parents have two. We've had seven total in our family. Good gravy. We just love boxers, man. What's They're the most just, boxers you've had in the house at once? Five. Five, so right, like right now? Well, or there. Some, whenever my parents come back in town, they bring their two. Sure. So we'll have five wow. in the house at once. Wow. Nowhere to sit. What are their names? If uh, Zoe, Riley, Rain, Ross, Allie. Rain, I remember you telling the story. Uh, you were screaming something, Rain, in the backyard or something. Oh, like yeah. Rain, Rain is mine. Like, he's – Rain and Ross are brothers. We got them since birth. We can't separate them because Ross was my brother's, but he moved, so I had to keep both of them. And one of them's name is Rain. <clears throat> Sometimes I'll have to, like, go outside and yell for him to come in. I'll have to yell, Rain! Rain! <laughs> and, like, the neighbors are probably like, this dude really wants it to <laughs> rain outside. An Aborigine dance yeah. in the backyard. <laughs> yeah. So – my mom picked the name out, so. I like it, though. I think it's pretty. I, how's it spelled? R-E-I-G-N. Uh, okay, that's uh, yeah. Uh, number one for me, you've already said it, Pitbull. Uh, really, Pitbulls yeah. are my favorite dog. Um, Quit hating on them. Yeah, they get way too much hate. They're they're very, they're adorable. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're coming in at number one for me. We had a lot of the same. Dog, we I did. I three. didn't know you'd have boxers. I love boxers. We had boxers, German Shepherds, and Pitbull. Pitbull. And I introduced you to Kane Corsos. Yeah, those are uh, pretty dope. My honorable mention would have been Doggo Argentino. I'm going to guess that you haven't seen that dog. No. Uh, but it's they're weird? huge white dogs, but they were bred to hunt wild boar in Argentina. So they are like nothing but like muscle. Yeah, dude. They kind of look like boxers, too. Mm-hmm. I like, you can uh, tell I kind of like that face. Boxers are bred to uh, fight bears. Did you know that? Did you imagine heard seeing that. a boxer try to take on a bear? There was probably multiple boxers. Oh, <laughs> yeah. There would have to be like 12 boxers taking on a bear. But, yeah, I think these dogs are beautiful. Uh, you ever watch um, Caesar Milan, The no. Dog Whisperer? No, I think I know what you're talking about. I fucking love I don't know why I love that show. No, Watching I'm, him train dogs. He's. Uh, I saw a dog kill a, a snake. On yeah. Facebook, An like two days. No, it was a small <laughs> snake, but it's just like dogs are fearless, dude. I love the videos. You see them all the time around like Fourth of July, where dogs will run up and like grab the firework oh, and it's carrying it in its mouth and it's shooting at the people. Then, like, yeah, dogs are my dogs are scared to death of fireworks, except for one. She's like uh, Allie, the small one. She's like, I love this shit. <laughs> like, you're crazy. Uh, sticking on the dog topic, I went over to my dad's house the other day. And um, my sister lives there, and they've got a pit bull, and she has a mutt. It's like 15 different breeds of dog, yeah. but it looks like a small German Shepherd, but um, it's like a German Shepherd and like a Collie mix, like in a Collie's body. So it's a smaller dog, but he's uh, he's kind of bipolar. So like, if you just walk in the house, he's barking at you to like get out of my fucking house type thing. So I always, like, knock on the door so he hears me. I'll hear him bark, and then he'll see that it's me, and he, everything's cool. Well, I went over there the other day, and, like, I knocked like I normally did. Didn't hear him, so I was like, he's not here right now. Like The dog's my, not? Yeah. I was like, Bear, his name's Bear. I was like, Bear's not here. He's probably with my sister somewhere. And I walk in, nothing, nothing, go back to my dad's bedroom, and he was on the bed with my dad, and he fucking took off that bed barking showing his teeth he scraped my dad up because he was on his leg so his claws fucked my dad's leg up yeah and he came right at me showing his teeth barking and i like put my foot up to like keep him back and he's fucking coming at me like biting my foot and i was like dude i'm about to stomp your head if you fucking bite Jeez, me like, it's going down i was like didn't Bear, stop. You? I, so i had a hat on i don't know if that threw him off oh, the hat. but it also surprised him i think because i walked around the corner and he's like intruder yeah. I gotta do my job, and then my sister came in and yelled at him to stop, and he stopped, and then we were good. He was like smelling me, we were playing, but like I thought for a second I was gonna we have dead. to fight a fucking. That dog. happened to me uh, with my dogs because one time I grew my hair out again, like a long time ago, like five years ago, and I had rain and raws, and then I shaved my head, and I came home looking completely different, and they oh. they flipped their shit. <laughs> they were like, "Who is this guy?" <laughs> yeah. But, like, did, if you come did, in my house, you just got to, like, say their names. And they're like, okay, you know my name. We're cool. Did that 
cross your mind at all? Like they're not gonna recognize me? No. <laughs> You're like, no. what are y'all doing? I know. I was like, <laughs> back up. <laughs> so, calm. Well, like in my house, like if they hear anything outside, they start going crazy. And when I had surgery, my uncle came over to let them out, and he couldn't get in through our front door because it's it was locked or it's, it's tricky. Our front door sucks. So he walked around back and came in through the back door, which you don't do at our house. Mm-hmm. No one's ever came in through the back door. You know what I mean? We didn't even know it was there. Yeah. And uh, the dogs, w- like, would not stop barking at him. And he had to just sit down in the chair and just, like, sit there, wait for my mom to get up. And she was like, it made me feel safe knowing that they wouldn't let my uncle, like, move. Yeah. They just, like, like, you're not going anywhere. Yeah, and you're sitting in this kitchen. You're not going anywhere. Would you ask, so, like, it's funny because my sister has a pit bull who's he's, – he's massive. And then Bear, who's, like, 30 pounds. He's not a big dog at all. Yeah. And if you were just looking through the window, like, about to rob the house, you'd be like, I got to watch out for that pit bull. Yeah, but- Fuck, this dog ain't nothing. You The pit bull will lick you to death. He yeah. wants to play. He had, won't hurt a fly. It's the little fucking dog that will tear your It's always your the little ones. Up. It's the little ones that do that. Yeah, I mean, my brother's little dog, that one that bit me in the dick. <laughs> <laughs> that, that hurt. What, what kind of dog was it? I don't even know. <laughs> I was like, watch out for the husky. The little dog is a dick is, is sweet. And then, a dick muncher. Nope. You freaking. He, yeah. You, watch that earlier Monday Mayhem where I talk about getting my dick Rodney bit. Rodney got did some good editing, I think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I forgot about the edit. <laughs> that was an episode I wasn't here for, but I do I do remember seeing. Oh, you weren't here. Yeah. Uh, you would have liked that. <laughs> you would have really liked that. <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, what else you got to talk about? I got a couple things. Yeah, I was just th- thinking about, you know how like everyone's scared of like, UFOs and stuff? I was just thinking, yeah. like, what... Like, the universe is so big. I believe in aliens. I'm like, if a UFO comes to Earth, in all the movies, like, a UFO is just, like, a super saucer. big saucer. Yeah. It's like, what if, like, a UFO from, like, another planet is the size of our planet? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, there's other planets that are way that dwarf Earth. Like, what if they're, like, just in giants? In another galaxy. I don't know. That just always like because I heard on Joe Rogan, I was like, "Do you always think about UFOs as like just saucers that are pretty big, but not never one that's like the size of the United States or the continent or something?" Or something. <laughs> God, that would be terrifying. But yeah, that, that's what I, just something that. Well, yeah, I kind of going off your point. I've thought multiple times. Like, imagine if, a, like, I'm trying to think how to explain it. When we walk by an ant, imagine if we were the ant and there was a creature as big as like a human compared yeah. to an ant. Like, we're imagine being the size of something's toe, yeah. and those creatures walking around us. And every time you go outside, you got to be worried about them stepping on you because they don't even see you. Yeah, like like extremely big dinosaurs that are way smarter than us. Like that, like that's terrifying to think of. It would suck to be a, a insect. Like, flies yeah. are always getting smacked. Mosquitoes, they suck anyways. Uh, well, they, them. The thing is, I don't think they have the cognitive thinking. See, like we don't, don't know that, though. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they, they're pretty, like, <laughs> there's some smart animals out there. Like, know. how do people, like, how do scientists find out this shit? Like, no animals built civilizations like we have. Yeah. So they're not, a, they might not be as, but They're they also. Flies also, I think, have like a 21 day lifespan or something. Like they don't live that would suck. long, anyways. Hey, live it up, flies. If you fly live three there. weeks, you're old in fly world. Yeah. Like, ah, oh, oh, George, he's been alive for 22 days. <laughs> We're going to put so. him in hospice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I went. Uh, one of the reasons I missed was a week or two ago. Uh, uh, last week, I think I was on military orders. Uh, they sent me to so super. We had a super sweet gig. You thought I was lying. I did, and just saying I was with the military and on a vacation. And you're like, because uh, I posted some stories to Snapchat. And he was like, 
military pays you to drink beer and <laughs> go to baseball yeah, man. games. I was like, I need to join the military. And I, totally joking, but I took him seriously because it really was military. And I was like, yeah, dude, it's super sweet. They put us in a four and a half star hotel. They paid they paid for our flight up here, and all we were doing was getting a truck and driving it back to our base. I don't, that don't make sense. That seems like which was it's a 2021 Chevy Silverado, dude. It was super fucking nice, dark blue like Air Force blue. That's, um, that's dope. But yeah, so they paid for our flight up there, paid for this f- four star hotel, um, and then we got paid to do it, like two hundred dollars a day, and we were up there for two days, so we got four hundred dollars. And we got per diem, which was money to eat. I think we got eighty dollars yeah. a day to eat, so that was another hundred and sixty. And we didn't. Yeah, you just, keep whatever you don't use. So we went out to a brewery and spent. So like all our food was paid for too. Yeah. So like I made four hundred dollars, got a free trip to Pittsburgh. Yeah, and I just thought it was it's funny because when you text, when you snapped me, I was taking a shit, <laughs> and I thought you were, I thought you were being serious about it. I thought so, you were really on like a. Vacation. Like, I thought I was like, dude, he's was like, like lying. <laughs> I was he's really like, he's not doing the military, the military <laughs> shit. <laughs> re- but yes. anyways, so I'm in Pittsburgh. I've never been to Pittsburgh. Um, Me either, never been. It was actually a really cool city. I, for whatever reason, I picture Pittsburgh being dirty. Like I picture it kind of on the same lines with like Cleveland, that like industrial city, like not a clean city. Yeah. Well, where we were staying, which was like downtown, we were right across the bridge from where. The Pittsburgh Pirates play baseball. Like yeah. we could see it from our hotel. Super clean, super well kept. Like this. So first of all, crossing their their little river. So it's not like the Ohio River is pretty big to cross. It's a fifth as wide. It's not yeah. that wide of a bridge. But they have eleven fucking bridges. Like every block, there's another bridge crossing the water. It's super strange. I don't know yeah. why they need that many bridges, but. We were crossing the bridge. Which, walking? Yeah, we were walking because um, we weren't allowed to drive the truck around in case it got damaged or anything. Oh, yeah. So we had to park it and leave it. But we were walking one day across, and my buddy who I was with was like, look at that. That's the first, like, disgusting thing I've seen. And there was a pile of used needles, like oh, no. 25 needles, like a lot. like homeless. All in a pile? Yes. That's like, weird. Like, like they walk. Like they know that's where we throw our needles yeah, like, away, and put it's your needle right. At the needle spot. It's right on the bridge, right by the baseball park, and we had figured out that there was a baseball game that night, and we were like, "You're gonna have people from out of town. Like you would think you would clean up your giant needle pile. No, they here. don't care. Like the city should clean that up. It's right. So much traffic's gonna be right there, whatever. Um, and then we were coming back, crossing the bridge, and I was like, "What is that?" And it was shit, and I was like, okay, a dog shit. But we started looking closer, and it was human shit. Because there was a sock right next to it that he wiped with. <laughs> so some homeless man, is what I like to picture, was walking across the bridge. And the whole, why it was so funny is because if he would have taken 30 more steps and got off the bridge, turned right, there's a huge field with like a forest and bushes, uh, and he could have shit in peace. He had to go. So, yes, one of two things. Either he had to go and he couldn't wait literally one minute, so he pulled his pants down on the bridge and shit in front of a bunch of people. Understandable. Or he just wanted the attention and did he, he wanted was drugged out he probably, wanted to like, shit in front of people cuz he shit in the middle of the bridge. See, the thing is like we don't know when he did it. Like he <laughs> could have did it like <laughs> with a crowd <laughs> or he could have did it you that, know 2 so days ago at 4 in the morning when no one's on the bridge. It could have been in the morning but yeah like I don't think there was ever nobody not on the bridge while we were there. Like it was busy where like we're in like downtown Pittsburgh. So there was people so unless it was early in the morning or late at night whatever you want to say. I don't know. I, but like I would just picture and did he want the attention? And like the that dude's got some balls to just shit in front of everybody. Why or did, was but you want the attention though? That's something. So he's homeless. What else, Like, what's he got to do? <laughs> like, like, hey, I'll, give me a dollar. Or I'm gonna shit. There, you know how there's people that are like, they want to show they got the biggest balls. I'll stand up and yell this in the yeah. Like, but, uh, let me shit on the bridge in front of it. I don't know. It's like a frat party. It's like, I do. I dare you to shit. You don't think I'll shit? <laughs> The homeless people playing truth, yeah. <laughs> truth or dare. Um, but then the other thing that happened, we, so me and my buddy didn't know there was a baseball game, so we didn't get tickets. But me being me and being a Miller, I don't know how much you know about my family, but I talked 
I smooth talked my way to the lady and she let us in the ballpark and we were able yeah, to watch. You're a smooth talker. I really am. Yeah. It was the hat. You say, please. No, so my buddy tried first, got rejected. And I was like, let me show you how it's done. I went up there. We got right in. Took pictures of the field. Got to watch a little bit. They were getting blown out. Um, I think they were playing the Phillies. I don't remember. Um, but then when we were leaving, so we were with like the crowd of people leaving the game. So there's like a flow of people. Yeah. And we're crossing the bridge, same bridge with the needles and the shit. And there's a homeless dude. He's probably, he's, he's older, like 65 and like the missing bottom teeth. So like his chin like rolled, you know what oh. I'm talking about? It looks weird. And it's an African-American dude. And for whatever reason, he latched on to me and my buddy and this older couple that was in front of us, us four. And then he started cussing us out. He was like, you motherfuckers can't give me a quarter. He's like, you bought them tickets to that fucking baseball game, but you can't give a black man a quarter. Yeah. And then he started attacking our race. He's like, fuck you, white people. Fuck you all. You can't give me a quarter. Yeah. And he just fucking attacked us. And I was like, it has nothing to do with my race. Also, who carries quarters with him? Besides Brandon. I think he's the <laughs> only person I know that pays an exact change. But yeah. Who carries quarters? I got a credit card. I, how you expect me to give you a quarter? You should have flashed a hundred and then just like kept walking. <laughs> just pulled out your all. That's your how you get jumped, Tyler. <laughs> well, I'm because he's not the only homeless person. There's seven other homeless people standing with signs. Yeah, they're watching. Like, but uh, it was funny to me because thinking in my mind is you just ruined your chance to get any money from everybody that just heard you on the bridge. No one's giving you money now after you just cuss some people out yeah. and, and then attack our race. Them. Yeah. Like, who, what, you're a shitty person. You don't deserve a quarter. Like, maybe that's why you're homeless. Because you're a piece of... Quit being a dick. Nah. Quit being a piece of shit. <laughs> maybe he's the dude that shit on the bridge. It might have been. Also, he wiped with his sock, so he was walking around with one sock, unless he shit earlier and used that other sock. They need to be sockless. See, like uh, homeless people, they like to carry multiple socks, socks on in their so pockets. Just in two, case. Just two shit. Yeah. Well, why didn't he, like, shit in the sock? <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Throw it at people that don't give them quarters. I mean, just shit in the, the sock, use it outside to wipe, and then just drop it it's next to them. It's going to smush, though, when you wipe. It's, it, it don't matter. It's on the inside of the sock. Mm. It's it's a dirty situation no matter what. Yeah, yeah. Just leave it next to the needles and you're good. Well, you, see, if he shit in the grass, he could have rubbed his ass on the ground. Like, you know, dogs yeah. will scrape the carpet. He could have done something like that to wipe. I just don't know why he didn't go to the fucking field that was right there. Dude, sometimes when you have to shit. I've never experienced that. Sometimes it'll hit me so hard. Like I'll be, like I said before we recorded this, I know we were going to talk about, but like I'll be on the couch and be like, all right, I got to, you know, go to the bathroom and I'll stand up. And as soon as I stand up, I'm like, ah, I got to go. I got to go right now. And I'll have to like try to, yeah, real quick to the bathroom. So bad. It's not like my house is massive or anything. It's like 20 feet. It's just like, got to get there. But it's the longest walk. Yeah. (laughs) I don't even shut the door. I'm just like (laughs) in there. And then the dogs come in like, hey, you good? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. Oh, (sighs) what else you got to talk about? Didn't you buy something? Oh, I bought a drone. A drone. My dad just got a drone. I haven't used it yet. But When did you get it? Like uh, recently, recently? Yeah, like four or five days ago. What did you get it for? Just to fly it around? Or you, yeah, or you yeah. Got a I, purpose just, for it? I don't know. I just want it. It has a camera on That's it. That's what I was about to say. Does it have a camera? That's why my dad got it, because he wanted to like film shit. Yeah, I want to film stuff, but I just don't know what to film. I so, just wanted a cool... My dad's buddy had a, has a drone. That's why my dad ended up getting one. But his friend was stopped in traffic, like standstill traffic on like the Gene Snyder. Didn't move for like 15 minutes. Oh, he pulled it so out. So he was like, oh, shit, I got my drone. So he like pulled over like in like on the side of the yeah. expressway, got his drone out, flew it up, and f- he said he flew it straight up like a mile and could like see the wreck. And he's fucking hovering over the That's wreck. Crazy. And like watching on his phone, seeing everything, and then flew it back. And, like, it's got, like, an automatic return to home base or something that you yeah, just push. Yeah, that's probably one of them, like, expensive. And it'll, I think it was, like, five or $600, yeah. he said. But I it flew, know. but I thought it was really, he showed the footage of just driving up with the cars. It was really cool. Yeah, that's, that seems dope. I just, I'm going to fly it tomorrow. I just know. You charged it? <laughs> I'm Maybe just charging charge. now. Okay. I think it's, it's, it's already charged. One, it's, They give you two batteries, and one's already charged and hooked to it, and I'm charging the other one. I'm going to fly it tomorrow. 
I just have a feeling, dude, it's just going to go up and just disappear. Just <laughs> 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 well, pra- like, go in your backyard. You got an open backyard or you got trees? It's open. Go back there and just kind of, like, play around. I'm going to my friend's house to do okay. it. Okay. So. so you got open space? It's. You know, trees it's, are there's not get There's hurt. not many trees, but go to the open houses of the are field close. And just kind of practice. I wouldn't fly too high until you get comfortable with it. Yeah. You fly it, it from your phone. Is that the remote control? Because that's what a lot of them are. Or does it well, come? It, you, I think you put your, your phone, phone in into it. it. Gotcha. Or it might already have a screen on it. I just gotcha. opened it today and just made sure I plugged it in before I came over here because I, I wanted it to be charged. But you don't fly it from your phone. It has its own controller. <clears throat> Do you want anything from McDonald's? No, she coming. She's coming. <laughs> no, dude, I'm good. We just okay. went. Uh, what else you got to talk about? I got two more things. You got anything else? Uh, I don't know. Uh, okay. Top five favorite TV shows of all time. All right. We don't know. talk TV shows on Box Office Banner, so we'll talk a little now. All right. Start we'll at five. Five. five uh, for me, this, this was difficult. I I was just put The Walking Dead. Walking Dead started off so great. It has its up and downs. Uh, it's coming to an end. I think they're doing the last season is about to start or going to start soon. Uh, hopefully, it, I don't know how. I need to watch the last few seasons, but Walking Dead's five for me. Ooh, okay. So my top three are set in stone. Four and five, are it's open to like five or six different shows. So I have like yeah. such a hard time actually picking a fifth one. Um, the Walking Dead is in that contention. Um, what was it? When they went to the prison, that's when I didn't like it. Um, the governor? I didn't really so, you know, like I like the I like the governor, but the whole, I don't know, the prison yard and everything I didn't really like. And then... So the show started off great, then it went down, then it went back to being good, then it fell off a fucking cliff, and then the last season I watched was, I want to say seven, I don't want to ruin anything, somebody dies in that season. Um, and was that, that season, Negan? Yeah, so it's when, like, I love Negan. I do too, I love Negan. I, I love the season when Negan came back in, and that's when I started to pick it back up, and I haven't watched, I think, the last season, or t- I saw Rick get picked up by that helicopter and haven't seen him again. I'm pretty sure he's off the show, but I don't know if they've yeah, said Yeah, apparently what he's going to come back at the very end. Um, but yeah, I love The Walking Dead, but I won't pick that for five because Tyler already did. Um, I'm going to go with the show Spartacus. Never seen even, the show? I've never even seen never it, even, no. Have you heard of it? Not really. Is it on Netflix, I'm sure? It was. Sounds like it was. It was. was I don't know if it is anymore, but it was a Showtime show. Um, and this was Game of Thrones for me before Game of Thrones. Okay, so it's so like, it before um, so it's based on the true story, however true they can get, of Spartacus, which I don't know how familiar you are with that, but he was a he was like forced to fight in like the the Colosseums in like uh-huh. Rome because he was a slave, and they had to like fight for their. Freedom. Could you imagine that? No, that like be having to be in like gladiator having to fight a bear i or love a the gladiator timeline that's why i love the show so much but yeah it's um, crazy so there was there was, there was i just stuttered like a motherfucker it's okay there was really a spartacus and he led a revolt like, yeah against all the masters and that's what this show is about but the first season's fantastic after that um, after the first season, they do a prequel because the actor that actually played Spartacus ended up getting cancer and actually died. That sucks. So they didn't know what to do with the second season, so they did like a prequel and did before the first season, and then they had to recast Spartacus, the main character, and I don't like the second dude as much, but the show itself is fantastic. Yeah. It's almost got that like comical blood to it like when they show blood it like squirts at the screen oh, which, yeah. I, which like, over I like the top, like yes. a tarantino movie yeah um but yeah i think that show's fantastic the dude from i've seen him he plays a lot of small roles in movies but he's the black guy in 300 that gets kicked into the hole yeah i don't know anyways he's in it and he's one of like the main characters he does great um the casting on that it's great uh one of the guys from suicide squads in it um 
Have you seen the new season? I've not. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, the the casting on that's great. A lot of nudity, just like Game of Thrones. Uh, if it's still, I have all the seasons. If you want to borrow it, but that Spartacus, I'll say is number five for me. Number four, uh, Game of Thrones. That's a little low on the list, buddy. Dude, I mean, is it took me th- it took me three times to get through it, just because it was so confusing and I just wasn't paying attention. Then I finally paid attention and figured it out. <clears throat> I like, I mean, the ending sucked, but the the whole battle scenes for those two episodes, that main battle scene, it was amazing. Like one of my favorite TV show episodes of all time. So number four is Game of Thrones. <sighs> number four for me, which one am I going to pick? Um, I'm going to go with South Park. Really? The longevity. Yes. That's do you not crazy. like South Park? I do like South Park, yeah. So the longevity alone. So a, a way I kind of like phrase this, and I guess it's different, your top five, but like if you had to pick a comedy show, one comedy show to watch for the rest of your life, what would it be? Like, yeah, that's tough. They have, what, 27 seasons, 25 seasons of South Park? Like there's so much diversity you won't you won't rewatch the same episode for a long time. Whereas other shows, there's six seasons. You're gonna be rewatching it pretty soon. But yeah, the fact that they're still making episodes that are top notch and they're going on they're on like 24, or 25, something Did like that. Did they just sign something where they're doing? I I don't know. I haven't I have God, not watched the last couple of seasons. I'm gonna binge watch it soon. But they just signed like a. A deal, a contract, million dollar thing where they're making like twelve movies and like four more seasons at least. The fuck? So they're they're geniuses, man. They're both Trey Parker worth, and Matt Stone. They're yeah. both worth over five hundred million. Just those making two making cartoons. They don't give a fuck about yeah, yeah. your feelings or anything. They just they're just laughing. They're living the dream, man. They're laughing at their own jokes. And everyone loves it. And they're pretty much single-handedly keeping Comedy Central afloat. Yeah. Unlike MTV with ridiculousness 24-7. <laughs> That's... God. A Tosh.0 ripoff? I know, dude. <clears throat> um, and right. number three, is for me, is Shameless. Uh, the, it's over. The final season just came out on DVD. Uh, I'm rewatching it. There's 11 seasons. I'm in. I'm halfway through season eight. Gonna finish it soon. Shameless is. Have you seen Shameless? I've seen episodes. Um, I haven't seen whole seasons or anything. It's it's all heart and emotion and drama with a little bit of comedy. It's just so real and so you know it's great. Uh, I've seen a couple episodes multiple times. I don't know why. The one where. Two people are running for office, and what's the dad's name? Frank. Frank is going around stealing signs from people's yards. Like the, the there's like a Mexican guy running. He's stealing his signs, and yeah. then takes him, and then gets the Mexican dude to pay him to plant signs. So he was like playing both sides of the field. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, that that episode, I don't, I don't think that's happened that I've seen. I've seen it before, but I'm what not back. I'm not back up to that. Oh, you're rewatching it? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, so Shameless is, did I say three? Yes, yeah, three. three. Okay, my top three. This is where I'm pretty passionate you know, about. My um, top two, um, they don't change. And these top three, they're so close. It's almost like a one A, B, and C. Yeah. Um, but three for me, Dexter. Fucking this. Sh- a lot of people hate the last season, I think. Yeah. So Brandon's somebody who will defend it. Yeah. I'm not as hardcore about with Brandon as defending it, but I don't think it's as bad as people make it out to be. I've heard it's like the worst ending I didn't of like all it. time. I didn't like it. I'm somewhere in the middle. The Sopranos I'm okay with is it. the worst ending of all time. Uh, but Dexter, I'm so fucking stoked for it. Oh, yeah. That's, and I'm when about did it come to, out? November uh, 11th or something like it was. I don't know. It's soon. That's why after Shameless, I'm rewatching Dexter. Dexter? And then gonna, You're going to be able to do it? Yeah, it's, it comes out in like two. Dude, I don't work. Oh. <laughs> I'm off work. I had a season surgery. A day. Yeah, dude, I can run through them shit. So yeah, Dexter's three for me. Uh, number two for me, Dexter. Like, dude, 
Watch Dexter. It's the perfect. To me, the plot is it's one of them perfect plots where you have a serial killer that kills other serial, serial killers, killers and, and bad, bad people. people. Like that's <laughs> genius. It's like like Pennywise the clown. It can turn into your worst fear and it feeds off your fear so it could make you as scared as it wants and they eat you and it's delicious. It's like those two things are just genius delicious. to me. Dexter is genius. That's uh, my number two. Number two for me, Breaking Bad. Yeah. Fucking Walter White, dude. So this, I had to be talked into watching Breaking Bad. My buddy was like, you got to watch Breaking yeah. Bad. You got to watch it. That's how I was. You got to watch it. Because uh, I used to work at UPS and we were like throwing boxes. So like we just stood there and talked all day. And like the guy on my left was an advocate for Game of Thrones. And the guy on my right was like, no, Breaking Bad's the best show. So they would like talk. And I hadn't seen either of them at that time. Uh. So they're like, dude, you got to watch Breaking Bad. Like it. And yeah, Breaking Bad's fantastic. I love the way the director explains it. Um, Vince Gilligan. Yeah, he says we take Mister Rogers and we turn him into uh, Scarface, and that's yeah, it's essentially exactly what like fucking it. happens in the movie. Uh, what's his name? Um, Heisenberg, Walter yeah, White. Yeah, who plays him? Uh, Brian Cranston. Yes, I don't know why I blank. Brian Cranston. He's the perfect, perfect Walter White, dude. Perfect Walter White. He's so good. The whole show it just fucking hooks you in, like. Even quote unquote boring episodes are entertaining. Do you remember the episode where there's a fly? Yeah. That epi- that's all that episode is, but it's fantastic. You know why they did that episode? It's because they ran the budget up too high on all the other episodes. <laughs> so they had to make an episode with like very little budget. But it's fantastic. Like it's the just, dialogue, like it kept you entertained. They're them geniuses, trying to catch a dude. fly. Yeah. Breaking Bad number two for me. Number one for me, <laughs> Breaking <laughs> Bad. We should have switched. Spots. Guys, dude. The last season of Breaking Bad, how it you're like, I don't even know how this is going to come together. Uh, the very beginning of season five, there's a scene where Walter's at a, a Denny's and he buys a gun off somebody. <clears throat> and then Trump. you don't really see like what happens to that until like the very last episode. And uh, the writers... They were like, yeah, when we made that scene, we didn't know what we were going to do with the gun either. And then it just all worked. And whenever the Walter goes back and talks to um, the Gray Matter people, um, what's their names? The people he ends up shooting up? No, the ones where he has uh, Skinny Pete and Badger shine the lasers on them. Yeah, uh, his Uh, colleague or whatever. Yeah, Yeah, Schwartz. Schwartz, I don't I know, know who you're talking about. And which it, I love that scene with the lasers. Yeah, I was like, like he's got snipers on him. I know, and, and then they got out. lasers. <laughs> and I was like, that is so genius because the DEA is not going to let Skyler or the son get any money from Walter White. So mm-hmm. he gives it to them because they're billionaires, and he's like, you're going to give this. It would make sense that they gave millions of dollars yeah, to to they were colleagues and friends. Yeah, it was. It's just genius. such a genius show. It ended the exact. It ended how it should have ended. Uh, also, if you like Breaking Bad, you should watch the movie El Camino, El Camino where it's, it's Jesse after the ending of Breaking Bad, which is just like a two-hour-long Breaking episode. Bad episode. A, it's it's so good. It Breaking Bad, number one, I don't think anything will ever beat it for me. Number one for me, Game of Thrones. Yeah. Um, uh, a huge Game of Thrones fans. People... It's shot down people's list because of the last season, and I don't really understand that. You're going to let I agree. one bad season ruin a show that was your favorite, and now it's not because there was one bad season. Well, if that bad season was the third season, would it have still hurt it as much? Like, Yeah, that's it, true. It wasn't Just a great was season. Just final season. It wasn't a great season, I'll admit that. But also because it took like two years to make, so everyone was like, Oh, this is going to be the most amazing thing ever. Um, There were definitely some bright spots in the last season. Um, One of my favorite scenes of, like, the show was when the mountain and uh, the hound fought. Oh, yeah. That was fucking – I, like, picked that out. Like, I uh, predicted that perfectly. Um, But, yeah, that scene was fantastic. Um, Like like I've said, this wasn't a great season ending – 
the people I watched it with were pissed, and I was like, I'm not mad, but I'm not happy. Like, I was just yeah. blah. I would have liked to have seen some... Because they did abandon, it seemed like, a lot of storylines. They didn't tie it off beautifully. I hated the way they killed Jamie and Cersei. Um, yeah, that, that was... pissed me off. Um, I didn't like Jamie coming back to her and all that, but overall, that show's fantastic. I'm about to rewatch it because um, I'm actually going on a cruise next year and uh, I'm going to Dubrovnik, Croatia, and that's where King's Landing was filmed. So I'm watching uh, Game of Thrones leading up to that. I'm going to watch like the final episodes on the plane ride yeah. over there. It's going to be dope. But yeah. I think a lot of people would agree with like our top fives. We got some fantastic like Breaking shows. Bad, Ga- Game of Thrones, and Dexter. Dexter. Like, if those you don't have solidified. any of those in your top five, you're not like. It's probably because you haven't watched them. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Which I had to be talked into watching Game of Thrones too. I was like, and I was the same way you were, as far as being confused. I was like, two two or three seasons in before I started <laughs> realizing who, who they mean when they say this name, yeah. this place. But I pushed through, and then. I rewatched it, and when you rewatch it, it's a hundred times better exactly. because you understand what they're talking about. I picked up on so many little keys that I that went over my head because I didn't know what King's Landing was in episode two. Yeah. Rewatching it, I understand what they're meaning and the political aspect of the earlier seasons. But yeah, is there a more hated character ever than King Joffrey? I don't know. People, he was actually bullied in real life. Because he because played Joffrey. Role? I understand. Yes. That makes sense. No, it doesn't. Because <laughs> like, bull- I'm watching Shameless, and there's a character on there named Debbie, and like I'm just starting to hate her character. <laughs> if you and saw it, her it, in it, real life, are you going to throw? Are you gonna spit on see, her, See, it just makes me mad, though. <laughs> it bugs me. Like, I, I like, understand they're getting paid, and that's not who they are at all as a person. See, I remember being it that way. It bugs me. I'm uh, like, ah, you suck. Do you remember the movie Like Mike? Yeah. The bad guy in there, I hated him as a kid growing up. Yeah, he plays in Breaking Bad. He plays Todd. Yes. What's his name? Fuck. Um, but that if if an actor can make you hate them that much, that's good. Give them credit. Like the, whoever plays Joffrey, I don't know his name. He's such a good actor. He made it believable, and we hate a fictional character. Oh, I hated him so much. No, I was so glad to see him die. And then what about Ramsey? Ramsey, I think, was right up there too. I kind of liked Ramsey though. He did have a more uh, he, personable feel. He knew he was evil, and he liked it. And then with I Joffrey, love, <laughs> he was just a, a kid. Just I, I love the I scene want. with uh, Ramsey. It's right after he cut uh, Theon's dick off, and he's eating the sausage. <laughs> I don't uh, know if you remember that. Yeah, I remember that. And he's like, I oh, this isn't you. Yeah, I thought that was fun. All right, there's our top five TV shows of all time. Uh, yeah, Brandon and Ronnie won't ever do that top five TV show. Yeah, that was think. special because we're here, and yeah. we love you all. Yeah, because they're all stingy on like what are top fives or. Well, Brandon does top fives, but not TV shows. Tell them to do a top five TV show. No one else comment. Be like top five <laughs> TV shows, so he has to do it. He's gonna watch. Brandon actually watches these episodes though. Never mind, Brandon. <laughs> No, nah, I don't know. Brandon, if you watch this, message me in the group chat telling me you just seen this. And that way we know you watch it. All right. Are you ready to wrap it? Yep, wrap this shit. All right, follow us on Instagram and Spotify, the official box office banner. YouTube, box office banner. Subscribe. Every video we make goes up there. Facebook at box office banner movies. Join our group there. And on Facebook at box office banner. Thank you. <laughs>